Hi, I'm Dr. Tommy Ree, and one of the big questions that we have here is how do you prevent tendon injuries, right? So let's talk about the anatomy of the tendon, right? So we look at the attachment, so that you have a belly of the muscle that does a contraction, and the glue that glues onto the bone is the tendon. So that's where we're prone to injuries. Now, when you look at the tendon, that component, you hear about the Achilles tendon, or maybe the epicondyle, you got tennis elbow and stuff, those tendons are always compromised. So what's going on is that we have either an overuse, overstretched, or just over-traumatized. So people like to chase the tendon. Well, it's not so much a tendon, it's the belly of the muscle that we have the problem with. So the belly of the muscle doesn't have the normal length. So when you shorten the actual belly of the muscle and you wanna do a lengthening exercise, what the muscle doesn't lengthen, what does lengthen is the tendon. So that gets compromised. So you have to go back to the source, the muscle. So how do we get the belly of the muscle to loosen up without compromising the tendon? Well, we have to bypass the stretch mechanism and use a device called the power plate. The power plate will actually get the actual muscles to lengthen based on the vibratory device and then really beating this thing called the muscle spindle. The muscle spindle is that sensory neuron that senses a stretch component and it contracts. So the vibration will bypass that muscle spindle and you'll get that lengthening of the muscle, belly of the muscle, thus taking the actual tendon and taking the pressure off the tendon. Okay, so if you have any questions, give me a call.